have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's been a little while. Do you wanna come here then? Do you wanna come sit up? Come on then, come here. We're finally filming um, our reactions to your like confessions, funny stories, and I, I've accidentally read a couple, and they're all. What do you mean you've accidentally? Well, when I was screenshotting to? them, there's some really funny ones. Oh, I told her not to. I said don't. <laughs> Bro, you can't fall on camera. Look at her face. She's like, did I just do that? You're right, I'm getting embarrassed. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, bless you, bro. Steady key cuddles. Uh, I love you, Tinks. Are you ready for the first one? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So someone said, <laughs> I once really needed to go for a poo, but yeah. I was poo shy to go in my friend's house. So I went in the alleyway behind her house and looked up and her parents were walking out of the house and I was absolutely mortified. I can't look the girl in the eyes since. So she's going for a poo in the alleyway. So she'd rather go for a poo in the alleyway than just use her toilet. <laughs> you did that. Huh? You did that. <laughs> Why are you telling them wrong, bro? I did, did once, yeah. I was drinking quite a lot when I was younger. <clears throat> And I'd done two bottles of strong bow because I'm old. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I couldn't make it home, and I was like pooing in an alleyway, and then um, my sister and Jade walked past, <laughs> and I was just pooing in someone's. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't an alleyway, was it? His backyard. Yeah, it was literally, yeah, it wasn't even that like covered. <laughs> no, it was his garden. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear they was twitching the curtain. <laughs> I'm that? sorry, but I would much rather poop in someone's house. Then literally squatting in an alleyway. Yeah, but well, I didn't have that choice. No, but this person did. <laughs> <laughs> so did the mum and dad catch her then? I don't know, she didn't say. <laughs> that is so funny. I went on a first date and he asked me if I wanted to watch the video of his ex give birth to his child. <laughs> yes, please. On a first date. Oh, I've got a really good idea actually. Well, out for dinner. Yeah, should we just watch my ex give birth to my child? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Oh, yeah, sure. Dear. Let's go for it. Someone put my brother was annoying me, so I put dog food in his in his pie and he really enjoyed it. That is brutal. You not ever used to eat cat biscuits? Uh you ate cat biscuits? Yeah, like as a dare. You'd eat a cat biscuit, wouldn't you? No, but didn't remember mum. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember? So pretty much when I was running oh, the cafe, I, I had dog treats on the side <laughs> in the dog bowl. And his mum come over from Spain. And she would come into the and she was just come into the cafe to get something to eat. Yeah. And uh, she walked like she walked behind the counter and just was like, "Oh, biscuits!" <laughs> and started <laughs> Ben, the dog biscuits, mate. And she's just she, like, spitting them out. No, but she did it three times. Yeah, yeah. Not she did once. She did it three times. I was like, "After Mom. telling her every time." Oh my god, Stop that was them. so they're not, funny. They're not people with biscuits. They're dog biscuits. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, that was so good. That was golden. So I'm sorry, I got into a random old man's car thinking it was my mum's new car and he was in it. Have you ever done that? No, but do you know what? Do you know? Do you remember in Cranley when you were. Where were you going? You was going to the chemist. Yeah? Yeah. Some school kid like ran, ran over to the car. What, well, got in it? No, like went to go open the door. Oh. I was like, hurry. <laughs> yeah. I was actually looking at him like, what are you doing? Get out. Oh, I would actually be mortified if that happened. If like, if someone had the same car as us and I obviously was just, like didn't... <laughs> Have you ever done it on your own? Like when you're in like a shopping, like a supermarket and you park and then you're like going back to your car 
and then you just like literally you just walk to the wrong car. No. And then you're like just about to open the door and you're like, there's no car and then you're just like looking around like. Well, because it's the same car you mean? Yeah. Oh, right. And you do, it's no, I've never done that. Have you not done that? No. And then you're like, well, <laughs> anyone see me? Was, no? No. Okay. I've never done anything like that. Oh, yeah, because you don't drive. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you don't drive. I drive, drive yesterday. Wait, wait, can you be what careful? What are you doing, pigs? Someone put, I went on a date with this boy, and he's 22, and he asked me to cut his food up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. No, he Apparently did not. he did. No. Can you imagine? What would you do? You'd be going to ask me to cut my food up on a first date. Yeah, I'll comply. No, have you ever been on a date with someone at, at, like for food and they've eaten like an absolute animal and it's just given you the biggest ick and you wanted to just leave straight away? That I don't know, I don't think I have actually. He was eating stag bowl and I'm not joking, it was like a dog. He's like, <laughs> It, I'm not even, it was so bad, I was thinking, how am I going to get out of this situation? It it made me feel sick. What did you have? Did you not have any spag bar? I can't remember what I had now. It might have been the same, yeah. Oh, God, it was horrific. I did... Who eats spag bar on a date? Exactly, it was all down his chin. Like, it was... Oh, no. <laughs> Don't go for food on your first date, is all I can say. No, you've got to go for, you've got to go for out to eat on your first date. Well. We had food, it was all in my teeth. Do you remember? <laughs> but I, yeah, but I we, like, we yeah, were, like, confident really enough to be, like, well, in, in teeth, teeth, yeah. you got it in my teeth, Oh, God, this person dee, said, dee, 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 dee. I went on a Tinder date and I blocked him after the day. I started a new job three weeks later and he was the team leader. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine? I don't know mm. if I could stay in that job, to be honest. But there's another one. They said they slept with a co-worker at work, obviously. Found out two days later she's married. <laughs> How do, you, how do you not know she's married? Yeah, isn't it? Does she not wear a ring? ring? Well, that's that's naughty on her. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You dirty dog. Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. Dirty dog. I mean, she obviously doesn't want to be married if she's not wearing a ring. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, or you might not be satisfying her needs. Well, that's, an, that's, that's another topic, <laughs> isn't it? Mm. I mean, I'm sure this person did. It's not a problem. Not a problem in our, in our area, is it, darling? <laughs> No. Is this how you're telling me? No. Your little, your little yellow cut. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Someone asked me for a cigarette filter once and I showed them a Snapchat filter. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Someone asked me what? Let me read that. Someone asked me for, for a, a cigarette, cigarette filter, filter and I showed them a Snapchat filter. <laughs> of what? What do you mean? I, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. How would that situation even go down? Oh, excuse me, have you got a filter? Yeah, hold on, I'll just show you my Snapchat filters. <laughs> That's so silly! Right, now, you got to stop being annoying. Oh, Someone said, look at your teeth, bruv. You need to brush them. She <laughs> did this morning. What's wrong with them? We have your teeth. Ow, don't hurt, Daddy. Look, look at your teeth. No! Get <laughs> That's what you mean. Right, show us your teeth. Don't, no, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, stop it. Right, someone said, I once sent my mum a dirty text thinking it was to my boyfriend. Have you ever done that? No, but I feel like sometimes you can knit, like, do you know when you're close? Yeah. And you're like, Oh my god, yeah, your whole body's so just close. like, nah. Trembling. Literally. Not trembling, that's the wrong word. <laughs> What's the word? Rush. Yeah, adrenaline rush. I don't think I've ever... I've done it on purpose, not a dirty text, but I've sent like a... Um... You've sent your parents a dirty text by purpose? No, I've sent one like meaning to be my friends, like slagging off my dad or something. Like, oh, he won't give me a fiver for the park. But I've sent it to him, so that he feels really bad and gives me a fiver. Have you ever done that as a kid? No, that's from, a, that's from the begging, bro. <laughs> Who's begging that much for a fiver, bro? Me! To be fair, I'd be to go like, to the park. I was so bad as a kid, I literally was like, Mum, can I have £2? No. Mum, can I have £2? Mum, no. Can I have £2? No. Can I have £2? <laughs> 
I literally would not stop. And she goes, oh, for God's sake. Have you ever taken money out of her purse? No, I actually haven't, no. No. Never. No, my dad used to have a stash of coins, though, um, and I'd take coins out of there. Never out of his wallet that's on one purse. That's no, but it was thing. just like, you know when you used to have like a big, like, Coca-Cola bottle. No, do you, you know, know what? Those massive, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's still stealing off your dad, darling. Well, well that's weird. <laughs> it was for all of us. Well, considering you're begging for five quid, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I keep wondering why my money goes missing. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't. It's our money. So, yeah, no. See, for me, I've never had. I'd, I'd never live with myself. I'd never, I'd never be able to take money out of my mum's purse. Never. No, I used to sneak cigarettes as well. I used to mom's. get my mum's purse. <laughs> and, no, honestly, and be like, and go to her and be like, Mum, you got some coins in there. <laughs> and then, that's Peggy! <laughs> that is Peggy! That's not Peggy! Hey, no, I can see my face! Yeah, it always worked though. That's a good one. But then she'd just hide her purse. Do you not remember like, trying to look for her purse? No, I've never tried to look for my mum's purse. Yeah. But I'd never steal anything. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I did steal cigarettes. As a kid. Oh, what if your mum? Oh. No, because my dad used to go abroad like all the time. And he'd bring back when they smoked. Go get it then. Go on then, go get it. Yeah, I know what you mean. When they smoke. Oh, <laughs> Come here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, no, no, I think I did. But I probably would stick still a bit of tobacco from mum. I don't know actually, I think I was quite. No, I think I was quite honest. I think I'd ask. This is when my parents didn't know I smoked. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I did. I can't actually remember. They yeah. probably did wonder where are all my cigarettes going, but they probably just no, thought they it didn't was have my a clue. If you took like one or odd, one odd, the odd one. Yeah, sure. All about like butt out of the ashtray. Yeah, too wrong. <laughs> God, what you used to do is Yeah, but then sometimes so you take it. Scabby. You take it and then uh, they'd be like, where's my finger? Like, they're clearly not even finished. I didn't tell my sister's dad I was pregnant until my daughter was two days old. I didn't tell my sister's dad. So maybe they haven't got the same dad? No, I was pregnant and hid it till she was two days old. How did you get away with How that? How did you manage that? She, she must not be living with him or not seeing him. How'd no, or she just wore like really baggy jumpers, but like even then. Matt, I don't know about you yet, yeah, but I can tell when someone's pregnant. In what? To be fair, so can I, because I I knew that Soph was pregnant before she didn't tell us. Are we making that? I don't know. Are we making that like? Oh, she put it on. Oh yeah, she. Yeah, has she's it. she's announced it. I wouldn't just say that. No, it's, it's my Jeez. best. It's my best mate's girlfriend. I'm like. Jesus Christ, she's she just dropping... She announced it at Christmas time. Yeah, you're just dropping bombs on. I was no. like, Jesus. But yeah, I knew she was pregnant before she'd even announced it. That, was, that really had no adrenaline going there. Why? <laughs> because Did I was just, just like... Did we just cut it out? Yeah, like... but I was just like... <laughs> I don't know, it made me feel sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? She just had a glow. I she just, did, I yeah. know the pregnancy glow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You were so attractive when you were pregnant. <laughs> Oh, and I'm not now. No, of course you are. Oh. No, I hate I, it when girls I do that. No, help me out. No, here. but no, I help don't. Help me out because it's like you give them a compliment like, oh, what? And I'm not now. <laughs> no, but I didn't have. The I didn't say that. Well, you kind of did. It's like saying, "Oh, baby, you look really pretty today." Oh, what? And I don't every other day. Well, it's true. You should compliment me every single day, darling. Or two, darling. No, don't you don't. I complimented you yesterday. Yesterday. I Yesterday was the first compliment I've had since probably being pregnant No, with her. it ain't. Yes, it is. I always say your boobs look saggy. <laughs> <laughs> they do. That's not a. That's not a lie. Hid my ex's passport and cancelled his flight when I found out he was cheating on me and what? taking her away. What was that? Say that again. She hid her ex's ex passport and cancelled his flight because she found out he was cheating on her and was going to take this girl away. Yeah, it's all right, girl. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, that's a bit savage, but I probably would do the same. No, I, no, fair play, mate. Fair play. Sneaky little shit. I like this one. Where? Didn't realise a condom come off during a one night stand. Fell out of me three days later. Oh, no. oh can you imagine? <laughs> I'd be like, mm. what is that? 
Oh, that is. Like, what is that? That's for, oh, that's dirty. How did, it, how did it stay up there for so long? I, I feel like I would have felt mm. something different. What are you doing, Cheeks? <laughs> and Mummy's coat. Oh. Oh. I've got to do a haul with that today, oh. darling. Oh. <laughs> that's lovely. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, my last date. That actually went well. Turns out I slept with his brother years ago. Haven't come clean yet. Oh God, that's really awkward. Has an argument with my boyfriend, so I put his toothbrush down the loo. Gave it a quick scrub. No, you can't be doing things like that. You can't, mate. That that's criminal, right? <laughs> I would not. I I don't think if I could ever do that. You ever done that to me? No. I hope not. Because I've seen your flipping skids, mush. <laughs> I don't want them all in between my teeth. You'd know if there was, yeah, if there was would, shit on your toothbrush. <laughs> you would you know. No, but you might not have had, there might not have been poo poo in the toilet. Yeah, I just scrubbed it. That's, that's not right though. You, oh, mate, you can. Did, hurt you, did you tell him afterwards? Were you like, hun, I actually put your toothbrush down the loo? I think that would end our relationship, you know? Yeah, 100% mate. If you did something like that to me. That's why I'm using your toothbrush to flip and itch me bum out. Uh, you probably do. Maybe you I use can. my razor. What, to shave To it? shave. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You and then use I'm putting on my armpits and stuff. Well, don't use my razor then. No. You used to use my razor. Yeah, you used to. That's why we've got different razors and now you use my razor to do everything. Yeah, because yours is better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you ever used to do that? Just getting all your hot out sheen out. This girl said, oh, it is what it is. This girl said, when I was little, I drew all over our lounge walls and mum's an interior designer, so I blamed it on my sister. Did you ever used to do something and blame it on your brother or sister? No, but I remember when... No, I remember when... <laughs> one of my best mates, flipping, we were playing stick wars in the garden, like swinging sticks at each other and he cracked on his head open. My brother. Oh, my God. And then I said it was me. Oh, no, but that's really trouble. sweet. I know. That's really sweet. I broke my mum's uh, favourite vase and I blamed it on and my Do you know sister. when like, you, my brother's literally his head's just like pissing out of blood, but back in the day it would just be like, oh come on, we're going camping. Yeah. Like, come on, get in the car. And You're when are we fine. camping? Yeah, uh, you know Vicky? Yeah. Oh my god, they used to break their bones all the time, I don't know how. But her mum was just like once. <laughs> Who was it? I think it was Annie who broke her arm on the trampoline. She was trying to pop like pop it back in. <laughs> You don't no, know, right? Is she dislocated? I don't know. They went to the hospital in the end. <laughs> I remember with my brother, we went to a camp. We used to go to quite a lot of hippie camps. And my brother, bless him. What they used to do is big, dig, dig big holes in the ground and then put like toilets over it. And uh, my brother fell in the toilet. Oh, yeah, I remember that story. Oh, bless him. Oh, I was flipping out and all we could hear was him crying. What, was he coming to Yeah, he had to go a shower, a cold shower. Right, what are you trying to do with my clothes, darling? Cheap. No, you're very cheeky. That's I've naughty. Got to wear these. That is naughty. <laughs> That's mummy's dress. Do you like it? It's Oh, pretty. Okay. Do you want to wear it? Okay. Right, I think that's about it, to be honest. Have you got any confessions you want to share? No. Oh no, here's one. I went on a date and when he came out of the toilet, there was toilet paper on his shoe, I got the ick. Would that be the ick? If he was on a first date and she came out of toilet paper like in her pants or something. Maybe in her pants, yeah, but not on not on her shoe, no. Like, that's just like... Do you know what? One thing... <laughs> no, but I would, no. I, would, I would crack up though. No, but do you know how like disgusting toilets are? Like, yeah, they're What they're are people minging. doing in there? Minging. So like it's understandable to have a bit of tissue, like so tissue, because they're just. I swear, supermarket. Mate, you should go into a male's toilet on a, on a, in a nightclub. No thanks. It's like. Nah, you, uh, it would stink. No, you're going through puddles. Like your feet is going. You're Why? Going, you're what are you still doing? Oh, that's that's exactly, that's, yeah, that's exactly it, mate. And the ones. Well, in you all start pissing <laughs> on each other. <laughs> the ones in casino, flipping, had mould all over. Yeah, that's no, rank. But going back to poo. I swear supermarket toilets, there is always shit on the walls. Yeah, like who, who's doing it? I've been to Waitrose, 
Sainsbury's, Tesco's, every time I've gone for a, a toilet away, there is like, always shit who, on the walls. Who is this person going into flipping <laughs> It's probably kids. Toilet? It's probably kids, if you think about it. Why are they swearing on the walls though? I don't know. I never, as a child, thought... Maybe they got it on their hand and thought, oh, I'll just put it on the wall. No, no, I've never, as a child, thought, let, hold on a minute, let me just smear the wall with poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I don't think I've got any confessions. Kids are just you know? different, do you know what I mean? They're just different. Have you got any confessions? Got anything um, you want to confess, love? Eh? No, I don't actually. <laughs> Someone said, when I was little, I smashed a china cup round my brother's head and then cut his hair bald. <laughs> what did he do to you? That's brutal. That is so brutal. Row, row, up. Good girl. Oh. This is ruining our studio. Rosie. This is what happens yeah. when you go to film with your kids. Yeah. Just this, that's just reality. You've got been screaming in the background the whole way through this. If you don't like and subscribe, I completely understand. <laughs> yeah, you made all that mess. Yeah, yeah. mummy's clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that top? Is that nice? No. No, that one's oh, going okay. back in the bag. Yeah. Right, guys. Guys, yeah, we thank you all so much for sending in the story. Hope you enjoyed. Right. Yeah, thank you all for sending in your stories and your confessions. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> thank you for putting up with our child. Yeah. Um, Rosie, come here. We had loads bye. of fun. Right, 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 let's say bye. Yeah, say bye. Thanks okay, bye. everyone, see you in the next one. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Uh, we're vlogging, bye. Vlogging Good girl. The vlogging on the weekend, so we should have one up on Monday. Bye. We should have a vlog up on Monday for you. Love you all. Bye. Peace out. Bye. 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 You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. Wow, 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 wow.